Mrs. McCready! Mrs. McCready! Oh, where is she? The children will be here any minute. I blame it on the politicians. This war has disrupted and destroyed so many families. It's 1944. Surely by now, people would have realized how stupid war is. And now, because of the war, my nephews and nieces have been asked to come to me and stay with me for safety. I'm a professor, not a child, minder. There's nothing in my job description about children. Do I look like a nanny to you? Yes. <laughs> Professor Kirk, at your service. And um, what were their names again? Uh, perhaps you can help me. Edmund, Lucy. Peter, Lucy, Lucy, and Susan. Yes. What am I going to do with them? There's nothing for them here unless they like exploring old furniture. Just take a look around. Ah, my old wardrobe. Just think, a lion, a witch, and this old wardrobe. Oh my goodness, they're here already. Ah, this way, children. I'm so very glad you've come to stay with us. Oh, it won't be like the city out here. No, you'll be safe from all the bombing. Well, it's been a long journey, and I'm sure you're all very tired, so let's get you settled in now, shall we? I shouldn't be here. I'm not ready for this. My father's dead. Get through. 
all right. I'm sure it'll be some time before you get used to my old home. In the meantime, there's lots to do. Look around, explore. I'm sure you'll find something. Well, I hate exploring, and I want to go home. Hate exploring? Why, when I was your age, I couldn't wait to find out what lay in dusty cupboards and dark corners and behind closed doors. Doors, open doors, they are yours to open wide. Take a step, take a chance, the view changes from the inside. Maybe wide, what was small may be tall, but you'll only discover when you open the door. Doors, open doors, they are yours to open wide. Take a step, take a chance. But you'll never discover